You're much welcome at Medical Sciences, where at the center of learning and the comfort of your places. And we always remind you to subscribe, like the video, and share to many others so that they can continue to benefit at Medical Sciences Made Easy. In this session, we want to discuss about the factors that affect drug absorption under pharmacokinetics. I want to see different factors, 13 factors that affect drug absorption in the body. I want to begin with pH, whereby pH of the media pH affects drug absorption for either weak acids or weak bases. So, Drugs which are weakly acidic, they are absorbed faster, they are absorbed faster in acidic media. Whereas drugs which are weakly basic, they are also absorbed faster in alkaline. And I will give you the reason in a minute. Why? Because drugs are absorbed in an ionized form. So when drugs are in an ionized form, that's when they can cross the phospholipid bilayer. And we see weak acidic, weak acidic drugs. If this is a weak acidic drug on dissociation, it forms a proton plus an ionized. So this one becomes an ionized drug which cannot cross. This one cannot cross the membrane. Which crosses is this one in an ionized form. So why does it, why is this weak acidic drug absorbed faster in acidic media that when we provide the acidic medium the acidic medium provides a proton, and this proton continues to combine with this ionized drug to form an ionized drug, which is HA, which is easily absorbed. Whereas for weak basic drugs, drugs which are weak bases, for example, if this is a weak base, in ionized, when it dissociates, it forms a drug B plus a hydrogen proton, and it is best absorbed when it is unionized. So when we provide an alkaline media containing bicarbonate, bicarbonate combines with hydrogen to form weak carbonic acid, hence leaving the unionized drug to to, be, to become absorbed. So it shifts the reaction to the right, whereas this one shifts the reaction to the left to remain in, in an ionized form. So in summary, weak acidic drugs are absorbed faster in acidic media compared to basic drugs. That is what we can end up saying. So for example, acidic drugs like aspirin absorbed faster in the stomach where there is hydrochloric acid compared to alkaline drugs. That is what we can talk about. And this one it depends on the PKA, whereby PKA is the one that determines the acidity and the alkalinity. So when the pH is the same as, when the PKA is the same as pH, drugs are absorbed faster. Then another Another point we are going to look at is drug, drug, drug concentration, whereby this drug concentration, when the concentration of the drug is high, we shall look at when the drug is low. When the concentration is high, faster is the rate of absorption, and when it is low, the rate of drug absorption is low. So highly concentrated drugs are absorbed faster compared to low concentrated drugs. 
Then under drug formulation, you can talk about formulations like drugs which are in the tabs, tablet form, drugs which are in capsules, are absorbed slowly compared to drugs which are in gaseous form, drugs in like in the forms of sprays and in liquids. These ones are absorbed faster. So if you want the drug to be absorbed faster, you rather give a spray or you give in a, in a fluid form, it can be absorbed faster compared to tablets and capsules. Then the particle size, or you can talk about molecular size, and when it is large, and when it is low, it is small, what happens? When the molecular size of the drug is large, the slower the rate of absorption. And when the drug is small in size, it is absorbed faster. It is absorbed faster. So you give the point in two ways, when it is small, when it is big. So each point, you discuss it in two ways. Then drug solubility, we can talk about drugs which are lipid soluble and drugs which are water soluble. And because the cell membrane is made up of phospholipid, you see lipid soluble drugs being absorbed faster compared to water soluble which are absorbed slowly. So the rate of absorption is slower for water soluble compared to lipid soluble because the lipid soluble drugs easily cross the phospholipid by layer. Then the GIT motility or GIT disorders like diarrhea, you can talk about diarrhea or constipation. When someone has diarrhea, so or when someone has high GIT motility, like in diarrhea and, and vomiting, the contact time is reduced. There is reduced time, contact time of the drug, and less is absorbed. And when someone has constipation, that is low GIT motility, the contact time is it has high contact time, and faster or more will be absorbed. More drug will be absorbed with constipation because GIT motility is slower. Then surface area of the absorbing surface, when it, the absorbing surface has a large area, and then when it has a small area. Large area like the ileum with villi and microvilli, the rate of absorption is high. And areas which are not highly folded, the rate of absorption is zero. So the higher folded, like the ileum which has microvilli and villus, the rate of absorption of the drug is high because the, the surface is large. Then number eight, we can talk about vasculality, that is the blood supply which increases the blood, those are the blood vessels which increases blood flow to the absorbing surface. And when the blood flow when there is increase in vasculality, when there is much blood flow to the absorbing surface, increase in vasculality increases, increases the rate of absorption of drugs. Because more blood coming, more of the drug will be absorbed compared to low supply of the blood. Then the route of administration, drugs which are given intravenously, we said they have a hundred percent bioavailability. So here the rate of absorption is high. Compared to drugs given orally, where they first undergo first pass metabolism and the rate of absorption is low. Then presence of food, presence of food, food like milk or drinks like milk, they increase absorption of lipid soluble drugs like 
atemesinin or what we can call coatem this coatem is given in malaria infection so coatem is best taken with milk to enhance its absorption then some drugs some food substances presence of some other food substance decrease absorption so some pharmacists they tell you these drugs take them on empty stomach others take them after eating food then the presence of other drugs other drugs like activated charcoal other drugs like activated charcoal whenever you have taken activated charcoal and you add another drug this drug will not be absorbed it's not absorbed because this charcoal will prevent its absorption in the GIT. So whenever you are on other drugs, you can first take activated charcoal, then wait for like two hours before you take another drug. But when you take them in combination, then the other drug cannot be absorbed. So that is the factor of presence of other drugs which inhibit absorption of other drugs. Then pharmacogenetic factors, for example, with the people who lack intrinsic factor this is seen in pernicious anemia whereby the parietal cells of the stomach is not producing intrinsic factor responsible for absorption of vitamin b12 so when someone lacks intrinsic factor like in the pernicious anemia Meaning when you take a drug like vitamin B12, it cannot be absorbed. That is the pharmacogenetic factors. Lastly, we can talk about expression of P glycoprotein. And this P glycoprotein is the efflux pump of the drug. Is the efflux pump. Or it pumps out drugs from the cell so whenever drug is absorbed by passing if this is a drug and it is absorbed in the cell so what pig glycoprotein does this pig glycoprotein it comes and pumps the drug again out whenever drug is absorbed it is pumped out by the p glycoprotein so we are going to see that cells that have that express or that have increased the levels of pig glycoprotein the rate of absorption is low it is absorbed but is pumped out immediately so that is how expression of p glycoproteins affect the rate of absorption of the drug thank you so much for being with us where we have discussed about 13 factors that affect rate of enzyme activity this is very well, very much examined in the exams so always ensure to know this thank you so much